Hello friends. In this video, we are going to write a program in the assembly language of new A051 microcontroller to find the two's complement of a number. So we will write the program using the instructions from the instruction set of A051 microcontroller, and this program will be able to find the two's complement of a number. So let's start with the program. Let us first see the program statement for this. We have to write the program in the assembly language of the A051 microcontroller to find the two's complement of the number. Now we have to assume that the number whose two's complement we have to find, that number is stored in register R3 of register band 0. Okay. Now because we have to use the instructions of the A051 microcontroller. So in A051 microcontroller, we have four register bands. Band 0, 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Now each of these register bands, they have 8, 8 registers in it from R0 to R7. Bank 1 is also going to have R0 to R7, 8 registers. Bank 2 is also having, bank 3 is also having. Okay. Now, to use these registers, we have to first select the register bank. Okay. Now, the number which whose two's complement we want to find out, that number is stored in register R3 of register bank 0. So, first of all, we have to select this bank 0 then only we can use the register R3 of this register bank, okay? Now to select this register bank, we have in A051 microcontroller, we have a program status word, PSW. In this program status word, there are some bits, okay? So the third and the fourth bit of this program status word that is used to select the register bank. Okay? Now how we can use them? If the third and the fourth bit, they are 0, 0, then bank 0 is selected. If it is 0, 1, then bank 1 is selected. If it is 1, 0, then bank 2 is selected. If it is 1, 1, then bank 3 is selected. Okay. So, if we want to use any of these banks, we have to make the third and the fourth bit, the respective combination we have to make. So if we want to select bank 0, we have to make third and fourth bit 0, 0. If we want to use bank 2, then we have to make third bit 1 and fourth bit as 0. If we want to use bank 3, then we have to make both the bits as 1. Now because we want to use bank 0, so we have to make both the bits 0, 0. So third and fourth bit, they have to be 0, 0 to select register bank 0. Now when this bank is selected, after that we can use any of the 8 registers from R0 to R7 for our use. So we will use the register R3. Then R3 we are having the number whose two's complement is to be find out. Okay. Now next step is to that how we are going to find out the two's complement. Okay. To find the two's complement. Two's complement means we have to add one to the one's complement of the number.
so to find out two's complement first of all we have to find the ones complement and in the ones complement we will add one then we will be able to find out the two's complement now ones complement ones complement means that we have to invert each bit of the number any number can be of 8 bits okay these will be bit number 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 there are 8 bits in a number so we have to invert each each bit invert means that suppose that bit is 0 then we have to make that bit 1 if that bit is 1 we have to make that bit 0 so inversion is done if bit is 0 make it 1 if it is 1 then make it 0 example suppose that we are having a number 20 h h means that it is in hexadecimal so 20 means 0010 and 0000 okay this is for 2 4 bits and these 4 bits are for 0. It, we have to find the 1's complement. So 1, 1, we will invert each bit. It is 0, we will make it 1. It is 0, we will make it 1. It is 1, we will make it 0. This is 1, 0, then 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now what it is? Because it is in hexadecimal, so 8, 4, 2, 1. So 8 and 4, 12, 12 and 1. 13 13 will be represented like 10 is represented as a 11 is represented as b 12 is represented as c 13 will be represented as d okay so 13 is 8 and 4 12 12 and 1 13 so 13 means d and this is 1 1 1 1 so when we add this we will get 15 okay 8 4 uh, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 is represented as F. So this is D, F. Okay. So when we find out the 1's complement, then 20H 1's complement will be D, F, H. Okay. In this way, we can find out the 1's complement. Now to find out 2's complement, what, what we will do? After 1's complement, we will have got 1101, 1111. In that, we are going to add 01. 01 means 1101, 1111, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. For 1, we will have 0001. Add them. Okay. And then get the result. That will be the 2's complement. So in this way, we can find out the 2's complement of any number. First of all, find its 1's complement and in that 1's complement add 0, 1. Then you will get the 2's complement. Okay. So this logic is, uh, we are going to use this in our program. Okay. So what will we do in our program? First of all, because our number in the question, we are given that the number whose two's complement we want to find out that number is assumed to be stored in register R3 of register bank 0. So first we will have to select the register bank 0. Then we have to find uh, the number is there. So load that number in accumulator. okay because we have to our aim is to first find out the ones complement so first of all the number is loaded in the accumulator then ones complement is finded out after finding ones complement add a zero one to the number means to the ones complement okay and then store the result So these are the steps which we have to follow when we are writing the program. 
Now, before writing the program, first of all, we will draw the flow chart for this program. So, after drawing the flow chart, it will become easy for us to write the instructions because with the help of flow chart, we will get to know that what will be the sequence in which way we have to compute or execute the instructions. Now, in flow chart, our first block is always the start block which is shown in the oval shape. After that, as I have told that our first step will be to select the register bank 0 because we want to use the register R3 to get the number. So first is to select register bank 0. After that, we have to load the number which is in the register R3 into the accumulator. Because in 8051 microcontroller, in this 8051 microcontroller, to compute the ones complement, we have an instruction CPL. But this instruction, it works only on the accumulator, that is A register. This is having the operand is to be in the, the number whose ones complement is to be find out. That is to be in the accumulator only. Okay. So first of all, we have to bring that number from R3 into the accumulator. Then only we can compute the ones complement. So next step is to load the register R3 in accumulator. Now we have got our number in the A register. So next step is to complement the A register. Now when A register is being complemented, so we have got the ones complement. Now our uh, next step will be to add 0, 1 into it. Add 1 to A register and when we have added it we have got the 2's complement now next step will be to store the result and when result is stored next step will be to stop okay so first step will be to start, then select the register bank 0, then load that register R3 in the accumulator, complement A register, after that add 1 to the A register, store the result and then end the program. So we will replace all these blocks with the instructions. So we have got that how the instructions are to be written in the program. We have got the direction uh, in the flowchart. So to write the program, we will use the instructions from the instruction set of 8051, okay. Assembly language is to be used so that for every instruction we are having the mnemonics, okay. Mnemonics are to be written here. So now we will see that in the flowchart first step was to select register bank 0. To select register bank 0 I have told that the third and the fourth bit they are to be 0 0. Now to make these two bits 0 we have in 8051 microcontroller we have the instruction CLR. CLR means clear. Clear means make that bit 0. Which bit we have to make 0? The third bit of the program status word. Also the fourth bit of the program status word. So both the bits are being made zero by this clear command. Okay. And so we have selected the bank zero, register bank zero. After that, Next step was to load the register R3 in accumulator because number is already there in the R3. We have to assume that. So next is to load 
the number which is in R3, we have to copy that number into A. So R3 was, sorry, R3 was having the number. Now that number is going to come into the accumulator. Okay. After that, we can complement the accumulator. Okay. So CPL A, CPL is complement instruction, the mnemonic for complement instruction. Now after that we have find out the once complement. Now once complement is being obtained, so A is carrying the once complement of the number. Now to get two's complement, we have to add 0, 1 to this accumulator. So we will add in the accumulator, the immediate data 0, 1, H. Because directly we are providing the data, okay, immediate data. So we are using the immediate addressing here. The data is directly provided in the instruction. You have to add that data into the accumulator. So now in accumulator, we have got the, sorry, two's complement. Now two's complement is in the accumulator. So we have to store the result. Again, we will store this result in the R3 register only. Okay, because it is given to us in the question that we have to store the result in register R3 only, okay? So move the contents of the accumulator into the register R3 and then end the program and we will use the instruction E and D. So what you have done in the program to find the two's complement, first find out the one's complement and add zero one in it. Let's see an example. Suppose that we are having the number in R3 as 20h when we have find out it once complement so in accumulator we have got d f h okay when we have added 0 1 in it then we will get the result as e 0 how let's see 2 0 was 0 0 one zero 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 once complement invert all the bits it has become df at zero one means zero 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 one then it will be added one and one zero and one one and one again zero one 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 zero one so it has become e and zero so in this way you can use the instructions of the a051 microcontroller to find the two's complement of any number which is stored in the register now if you want that the user should provide that number so you can use that the number uh, you can directly write that number in the program okay so you can use uh, that the number can be stored in register also or that number should can be provided in the program also okay any of the part can be used but to find two's complement first you have to find the one's complement and then you have to add zero one into it okay so i hope that this program is now clear to you thank you